Hello everyone! Recently I've become involved with X-Wing, the miniature game. And as such I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the models that I got and uh, start off with the Heroes of the Resistance pack. Now this is an excellent pack uh, when I went onto Reddit and asked for advice on what to buy next for my Rebels fleet they suggested this pack so let's see what's in here um yeah we start off obviously with the two models uh, which we will get into detail a little bit later um we have one movement dial for each of the ships the yt 1300 also known as the millennium falcon and a t70 x-wing or uh, pose x-wing if you will now then um there are a bunch of tokens here uh eight shield tokens enough for both ships two focus tokens two stress tokens and a bunch of tokens that i couldn't find in the rules yeah. well and we have a weapons disabled token all right um we also get two of these I presume they are for the uh, plastic dials. <coughs> you can click them in there and see what ship they belong to. And also, of course, the pilot cards. Two in total for the YT 1300 and four in total for the X Wing. Right, uh, let's take a look at the pilots. We'll start off with uh, the T 70 X Wing. So we have Poe Dameron, uh, which is a pilot skill of 9, uh, attack of 3, uh, agility of 2, a hull of 3, and shields of 3 as well. Which is a nice upgrade to the regular uh, X-Wing, the T-65, from Luke Skywalker. And it has the ability, while attacking or defending, if you have a focus token, you may change one of your focus results to a hit or evade result. Very nice. It also is the skill uh, focus, uh, target lock, and boost. And you have a row here uh, for four upgrades. It costs 33 points to play by itself. Very nice. I've seen this one in uh, quite some lists. Uh, I've been um, researching all kinds of lists uh, that were played on nationals and stuff like that, regionals. And this one comes up quite a lot. Or the lists were old, I don't know. Uh, next up we have uh, Nien Nam. Uh, also for the T-70 X-Wing, of course, we have a couple of these, so yeah. Uh, pilot skill of 7. Um, the rest of the stats are the same. Also the same uh, actions here. We also get the same uh, upgrade possibilities. The cost is 29 and it has a different ability, of course. Uh, when you receive a stress token, if there is an enemy ship inside your fire firing arc at range 1, you may discard that stress token. Alright, very nice. Then we get Snap Raxley with a pilot skill of 6. Uh, it has the same abilities as the other ships, uh, it's a cost of 28. And it has the ability, after you execute a 2, 3 or 4 speed maneuver, if you are not touching a ship, you may perform a free, a free boost action. That is pretty nice. I love boost actions, as we will see in another video when I review the A-Wing. I am so in love with the A-Wing. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Right, then we have uh, Jess Pava, uh, pilot skill of 3. It also has the same abilities, but it lacks one uh what is that a title the, med the medallion hmm. i'm still learning the game as i go so i'm not really familiar with the names of the icons yet uh when attacking or defending you may reroll one of your dice for each other friendly ship at range one nice and 25 points next up a red squadron veteran doesn't have an ability but it does have the medallion. Hmm. Pilot skill of 4. 26 points to play. Then we have a blue squadron novice. Pilot skill of 2. Yeah, well, just came off the uh, academy, let's say that. Um, 
24 points, also lacks the medallion, and uh, stats are all the same, still no ability. They do have flavor texts. Oh, I love, I love the technology behind this. So let's read it. Haha, <laughs> the modern incarnation of a classic design. The Incom T-70 X-Wing fighter is the signature combat craft of the resistance forces in their fight against the First Order. Yeah, and this one has the T-70 model benefits from its redesigned thrusters with increased maneuverability in both space and atmospheric flights. Right, next up we go to the Falcon, or YT-1300, as it is officially called. Uh, we get Han Solo first, of course. Pilot skill of 9, a cost of 47. It has the attack of 3, agility of 1, a hull of 8, and shields of 5. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. When I play against... Uh, my girlfriend, to learn the game, uh, she really hates shields. She always plays as the Imperials, and she hates shields. Yeah. Right, uh, the ability. When you are placed during setup, you can be placed anywhere in the play area beyond range 3 of enemy ships. Alright. Different uh, uh, modification bar. And it has focus and target lock. Next up we have Ray with pilot skill of 8, just below Han. Uh, points 45. And when attacking or defending, if the enemy ship is inside your firing arc, you may reroll up to two of your blank results. That is pretty cool. That is actually pretty handy. Same stats for the rest of the ship. Now we get Chewbacca. Uh, 42 points, pilot skill of 5, still the same abilities and such. After another friendly ship at range 1 to 3 is destroyed, but has not fled the battlefield, you may pre uh, perform an action. Alright, and then we get one of the uh, vanilla cards. No abilities. 38 points for a resistance sympathizer. 3 pilot skill, and it lacks uh, one of the medallions as well. And that's the flavor text after the destruction of the Hosnian system, which you can see in uh, The Force Awakens. Uh, some spacers willingly aided the resistance against a malvolent First Order. Right. So let's move on to the uh, upgrade cards that you get. And we get uh, two times snapshot. Uh, range 1, attack of 2, after an enemy ship executes a maneuver, you may perform this attack against that ship. Attack. Attack one ship. You cannot modify your attack dice and cannot attack again this face. Then we have trick shot, also times 2. Cost of 0, right, this one was a cost of 2 by the way. Cost of 0. Uh, when attacking, if the attack is obstructed, you may roll one additional attack die. We get Finn uh, for cost of 5, rebel only. When attacking with a primary weapon or defending, if the enemy ship is inside your firing arc, you may add one blank result to your roll. Which is actually pretty nice with the um, radio with, that we just saw. Just look at that. See, you can re-roll blanks. With him you can get blanks. That is pretty nice. One time. Okay, so next up we have the Hotshot Co-Pilot for four. Um, when attacking with a primary weapon, the defender must spend one focus token if able. When defending, the attacker must spend one focus token if able. Cool. Ray for a cost of two. Rebel only. At the start of the end phase, you may place one of your ship's focus tokens on this card. At the start of the combat phase, you may assign one of those tokens to your ship. Then we get uh, for three an astromech droid M9G8. When a ship you have locked is attacking, you may choose one attack die. The attacker must re-roll that die. You can acquire target locks on other friendly ships. Burnout Slam. Get him two times for a large ship only, which is the Falcon. 
YT1300. Um, cost of one and your action bar gains the action icon. I have never seen this one, but judging from the rest of the text, after you perform a slam action, discard this card. I assume this is a slam action icon. I don't know for sure, I haven't seen that yet in the other models that I have, the other cards, so I don't know. Primed thrusters for one uh, small ship only, X-Wing for example, or most other ships. Uh, stress tokens do not prevent you for, from performing boost or barrel roll actions unless you have three or more stress tokens. All right, nice. For two, two times, a pattern analyzer. When executing a maneuver, you may resolve the check pilot stress step after the perform action step instead of before that step. That is actually pretty nice. Um, while it does mean that stress may affect you, it doesn't really affect the uh, perform an action step. That's pretty nice. All right, so we have a title here for one, the Millennium Falcon, YT-1300 only. After you execute a three-speed bank maneuver to the left or the right, if you are not touching another ship and it, you are not stressed, you may receive one stress token to rotate your ship 180 degrees. Right. The black one, the T-70 X-Wing only, also title for one. After you perform a boost or barrel roll action, you may remove one enemy target lock from a friendly ship at range one. You cannot equip this card if your pilot skill is six or lower. Sweet. Now let us see. So what pilots um, will not be getting this? Well, this one, obviously, this one, this one. All right, so Snap Wexley could have it, Nyan Nub, and of course, Bo Dameron. Oh wait, six or below. So only Nian Nub and Po Dameron can get that one. Right. Uh, next up we have the integrated Astromac for the X-Wing only. It's a modification. Cost zero. We get it times two. Uh, when you are dealt a damage card, you may discard one of your Astromac upgrade cards to discard that damage card without resolving its effect. Pretty nice, if you ask me. And smuggling compartment for zero. YT-1300 and YT-2400 only, modification limited. Your upgrade bar gains the, uh, what is this? I know it's a credit icon, but does it, is it a uh, credit in this game? Hmm, I don't know. Gains a credit upgrade icon. You may equip one additional modification upgrade that costs three or fewer squad points. Right. Now then, let's take a look at the models. I love it. The yes, S-foils do not close. Some of you might be asking that, but no, it doesn't close. All in all, I like this uh, model. Very nice. I think BB-8 is a bit too blank, but then again, it's it's not necessarily BB-8, of course, it's only for Poe. And then we have the YT-1300. Millennium Falcon, which looks pretty awesome as well. Look at those. Oh, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Right. Now let's take a look at those uh, ships maneuver table. Uh, for the YT-1300, uh, you can see we only have uh, four speeds, one, two, three, and four. Uh, it's pretty uh, standard. And the T-70 X-Wing, also four, but it has some of these. I'm not really familiar with those icons either, so forgive me. Uh, but yeah, course we get a booklet with uh, a campaign that you can play some more um, yeah rules components new rules etc etc all in all the you get a lot of for um, for the box you get a lot of uh, cards quite some pilots two awesome ships and uh, yeah 
let's uh, let's check out the next one next time. So see you all later. Bye bye.